hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a general reading. So take only what resonates with you, Scorpios, and let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Congratulations to you all who have made it to the bright side of the moon in Leo. We are still very much in new moon energy. So this video is going to be from July 28th through August 4th, right? It's new moon energy. So new moon energy is about getting rest, not necessarily sleeping in. It's about really resting your mind, resting your spirit to just decide, what do I want to manifest this cycle? I was able to close out a cycle in that last cycle. So what do I want to, and manifest a couple of things. Now I'm starting to get the hang of this. What do I want to manifest this time? Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Don't forget to get your rest. Don't forget your, you know, rest your mind. If you feel like sleeping in a little late, if you can afford to do that, then do it. If you feel like, hey, I'm shutting everything down and I just need to go take a walk and just be by myself, go do it. If you don't feel like answering certain phone calls during this time, don't do it because it's rest time. Rest your mind. Encourage other people to do the same thing by not answering the phone calls. See, first card out of the deck, five of swords, mm -mm -mm. seven of wands, ten of pentacles, Four of Cups, who is sitting around ruminating over something. Somebody is sitting around overthinking something. Here we have the High Priestess. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. Make sure you saw that. The Four of Cups. I hope somebody's not sitting around ruminating over something. That's nothing but demonic energy trying to pull you back. So here we have the Six of Wands. Make sure you can see that. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles, right? So keep something in mind, Scorpios. We're only a few days into this new phase within a new cycle. Whenever you think of new, think of like a new job, you know, a, a new, some kind of a new relationship, right? So there is some level of anxiety. There's some fear. Did I make the right decision? Did I... It is a lot of questions you have. That's why rest is going to be so important during this time. And to get as far away from energies that cause hostility in your spirit. Every time you think about them, you get fire mad, right? You know, dishonorable behavior, feeling like you're trying to win a losing battle. Like, I just, I'm so intense. This, that hostility rises up in your spirit. Physically get away. This is where you got to take action to physically not answer the phone, not respond to text messages, emails. Don't let them come to your house. Don't let them anywhere near you. Get as far away from that energy as possible. Do what you need to do, your water sign, to water that energy, right? Matter of fact, sit down somewhere and meditate. Get your power back, right? I see somebody winning it. I see somebody winning the fight, the internal struggle, that battle. Why? Look at all these birds here. Your ancestors are right there helping you along with this. You know, somebody's thinking about it. Like in their mind, they're trying to come to terms with some things. Your heart is in some things, right? But I do see you sitting down somewhere and you're meditating and you're getting your strength back. You're getting your fire back, right? Somebody's spending some time in prayer because this is about spirituality and where what areas of your life you need to take action. So somebody is spending a lot of time in prayer and meditation, just remembering how powerful they are. And I do see you being victorious. So that's right. Fight through this. Fight through this. Any thoughts that's trying to pull you back? Now, I know a lot, great deal of you all have landed on the bright side of this new moon in Leo. So you're feeling a lot more um, colorful. You're feeling like, you know, uh, a lot of powerful emotions um, because that's what new moon energy does a moon a moon in leo it heightens those emotions right leo is a fire sign so it's like putting a fire up under some water water and you can decide whether it's going to be boiling hot or is it going to inspire you is it going to be warm or is it going to be steaming hot right you have to decide but you don't need to sit around and overthink this because this is going to make you emotionally short fused like a person who is like an emotional basket case Somebody who can't control their emotions because, again, you feel like, okay, I feel stupid. I feel powerless. You know, I feel like I can't control my emotions, right? 
yeah about something right but i do see you pulling it together putting some fire up under yourself and remembering how powerful you are here we have the ten of pentacles because this is what somebody's thinking about their legacy they're like i'm not blowing my legacy because i can't control my emotions oh no no ma'am and no sir i have worked too hard for this I need to pull it together. I need this. There's, there's people looking at me. Some of y'all got kids or thinking about having kids or some of you all are impacting. Somehow you're impacting the world. It's like, I can't lose it. Mm -mm. I, I got, I got too much riding on this. So keep that, keep that energy. I have too much riding on it. Somehow you're, you're affecting um, your community and somehow you're affecting, you know, and could have some kind of effect on the world. So Keep your emotions together. Keep them together. There's a there's too much at stake here. So physically, get up and get as far away from energy that's causing a lot of arguments or hostility in your spirit. Even if you haven't seen them in a while, if you think about them and it causes frustration or hostility in your spirit, emotionally change the channel. Matter of fact, get outside because this is air. Get near water and get some do some grounding. Somebody, this is the answer right here. Get outside to a beach, a pond, a lake, a stream, but you need to get outside. It's not take about taking a bath or taking a shower or drinking more water. You can take some water with you outside, but get outside. This is, this is what's going to really help somebody. Get outside. Your intuition is on 1,000 right now. It's like it's a full moon for you all because that fire is up under you. And so use it very, very wisely. This is not where you're going to be short-tempered, going off on people. There's too much to lose. It's, it's way. I'm telling you, the whole world is watching somebody. You may think it's just your community, but if you're on the internet at all, it's the world watching you. You do not want to be in some scandal, caught up in some scandal, you know, scandalous mess. Whew. Let's see what else we have here. We have the lover's card, the devil card, the king of cups. The Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Okay, here we have the Lover's card and the Devil card. Whoops. Level, uh, devil card. So the Devil card is about... The Devil card is so, is so tricky. It is so, so, so tricky. Remember, I want to remind somebody, and this is why it's still so tricky, because where somebody is very sensitive to energy right now. And so, you know, your water is running low, and that can be like... Uh, you know because you all are a very deep thinking sign and you can go very low with the emotions and your water is running low right here we have the lover's card it could have been with somebody that you were romantically linked with in some way shape form or fashion your energy you're very sensitive to things right now there could be the devil card is in the mix so this could be some sexual temptation you know where you just want to have some kind of sexual healing that's why it's so important for you to go outside somewhere. Just get go swimming. Get outside. You need to do some grounding. You need to be in the fresh air. The sun needs to remove all that stale energy from your spirit. But also go outside and meditate. Here we have the King of Cups. This devil energy is about sexual temptation, illusions, materialism. It's about um, fear. It's about doubt. It's about some kind of an addiction of some sort. And somebody needs to do something that is going to nurture you, not nurture the devil, not nurture low vibrating energy. And I'm not calling a person the devil. Let's be crystal clear. We're not talking about any exes that's the devil. We're not talking about a current situation that's the devil. We're talking about metaphysically a spirit that'll make you feel like I made some horrible decisions in my life and I got to find a way to soothe that you're a water sign and a very highly sexual sign. You do not want to engage in um, sex with someone unless it's sacred, right? You all can look it up. Here we have the Two of Cups. Yeah. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, soulmate energy, right? Soulmate and twin flame energy. But again, again, it can be just, it can just, this is like a real tricky situation here. Okay. First and foremost, Source is aligning you with your soulmate and your twin flame. But if it is this is this it really this this crystal clear. If the energy causes hostility and frustration in your spirit to a point where you can see you can see bloodshed, they are not the one. 
Okay, it's, it's that simple. I mean, no relationship is worth you in being in handcuffs and messing up your entire legacy. I hope that is crystal clear for somebody. I hope it's crystal clear, right? Here we have the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. No relationship on this planet is worth you being in handcuffs because you couldn't control your emotions. And next thing you know, you messed up your entire legacy. The kids in the community are looking at you. The whole world is looking at you because you could not control your emotions. Right? So source is trying to send you more creativity so that you can balance out your daily affairs when it comes to your money, right? Being able to juggle some ideas and some take some actions on some things. But don't do it, Scorpios. <laughs> don't do it. Get as far away because somebody somebody feels like somebody took advantage of them. But I mean, like I said, a great deal of you are gonna be victorious at this. If you can you learn how to control your emotions, you're like, let me get back on my throne. <laughs> let me get back on my throne, king or queen. Let me get on my throne. Let me get as far away from this energy as possible and put my low vibrating energy behind lock and key. Let me just get back on my throne. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So again, welcome to the bright side. This energy right here will keep trying to pull you backwards to a cycle because again, remember that energy doesn't want you moving forward. Here's the, here's the crazy thing, uh, Scorpio. Even if you made it to the bright side of the moon, you'll notice who didn't make it to the bright side of the moon because they're more self-indulgent, they're more self-centered, they're more conceited, they're more overbearing, they're more bullying, almost like trying to bully you into being something else, trying to, trying to force you to vibrate low. They're trying to provoke you. That's what they're trying to do. So you'll know who landed on the, on the dark side or who landed on the bright side of the moon. So congratulations to you. For landing on the bright side. Yes. There's a lot of emotion in the car. Everything else is balanced out here. Your minor arcana. Um, except the money. The except, Excuse me. Except the water energy. The cups energy. So to sit around. All you have to do is remove this card right here. Everything is balanced. <laughs> all you have to do is remove this card. Why are you sitting somewhere overthinking this? Go to the beach. <laughs> That's your answer right there. Go outside and go to the beach. During this time of rest, the seven days of rest from the 28th of July through the August 4th, schedule some time to go to the beach. Turn your cell phone off. Don't read emails, text messages, unless it's business related or whatever. But if it has something to do, having to do, and this thing is broken right here, so I don't want anybody to get superstitious. Like, did you see the car turn around? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, again, this... Uh, this is where you're going to nurture yourself. This is where you are going to... The High Priestess card is attached to the moon. The moon is uh, Cancer's ruling luminary because it's not a planet. And the Cancer is the mother sign. So this is where you're going to mother yourself. You're going to nurture yourself. You're going to drink from your own water, right? So you're not... You're spending some time to get, you're just trying to get as far away from hostility as possible. The arguing and all of that other stuff. Seven of Wands. Yes, yeah, seven of wands, right? This is a person, you know, who somebody who is very confident that they can defend their views, right? If you have to, right? This is a person who is really gaining an advantage. This is somebody who is winning like this right here. Seven of wands twice. Somebody has that fire in them. And like, I'm not standing here arguing over this. I know who I am. You can stand there and argue with yourself, but I won't be standing there. You'll be talking to yourself. I'll be stretched out on the beach somewhere getting a suntan. I, child, I could care less. Keep on talking to yourself. So anyway, let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Yeah, anytime you're in a relationship with somebody, it could be a friendship, a job, or whatever, where you can see yourself blacking out and it's this violence involved, and you can see yourself, you know, wearing them prison flip flops and the, the orange jumpsuit and handcuffs. Mm -mm. It is not worth it. Nope, it is not worth it. If somebody's legacy is at stake here, work through your fears. Work through your fears. That's right. You see Scorpio there? Work through your fears. Whatever your fear is about somebody running a smear campaign or talking about you or what information they know about you or whatever, hey, that's their karma. You keep vibrating high. Sit down somewhere and meditate. Use this, use this time to meditate, right? Connect with fire. 
Yep, connect with the fire inside of you. This is divine masculine energy. This is not where you're going to sit here and overthink this and nurture this until you get flaming mad. Not at all. You can write their name down or the situation, toss it into a fire, release it with some good energy, always leading with love, and release it. Release it into the universe. But who has time to mess up their legacy dealing with somebody who can't control their emotions? I'd rather go to the beach. <laughs> I'd rather go to the beach. Who has time for all of that? The number seven, I am brilliant. And that is very true, Scorpios. You all are brilliant. Here we have number seven. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. And that is very, very true. That is what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me. You all will see another video before um, we roll into the first quarter moon. So again, continue getting your rest. Please get your rest. Get as far away from um, hostile energy as possible where you feel like you just, like I said, just got to constantly defend yourself. Like get, just get away from that mindset, get away from those types of people, whatever, go to the beach. You, you specifically need to get up from this space right here of ruminating over something. This is the four of cups. Four of cups energy is about just being unsure about something and lacking confidence in certain areas, feeling defensive, feeling victimized. Get up from this space. Uh-uh. Get up from this space so you can balance out the rest of your chakras and go on about living your best life. That's just the devil energy just trying to pull you backwards. That's why you're sitting around thinking about this. Post it up. You don't need to overthink this. I just gave you the whole answer. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.